Cześć, z tej strony Mato i na samym początku chciałbym Was zaprosić do pobrania aplikacji Upcomer Esports, gdzie możecie śledzić poczynania swoich ulubionych drużyn sportowych, przeglądać statystyki obecnie rozgrywanych meczy i turnieje oraz wiele innych funkcji. Aplikacja jest całkowicie darmowa i jest dostępna na iOS -a oraz Androida. Link do jej pobrania znajdziecie w opisie. Serdecznie polecam. Very good start. Swings up to the as well. Look at the accuracy from Chris. Yeah, that's start with Ace, maybe? Maybe. He's got a chance to go for JR as well. He's got that four headshots. He won't get the Ace if the choppers over by Sonny, but that is certainly... First, but Sonny might push through Ace as well. This doesn't go well. Chris gets the shoulder shot to JR. So they all pushed off the angle, and Oscar could surprise them entirely because they're... Chris and Oscar shoots up. That's what I'm trying to do. What a reaction to... He's coming from the A ramp right now. JR Hutchy holds toward jungle, watching that vent closely. Bomb ticking away now, and you're absolutely right. The double orbs does make things very difficult, especially the fact they have no smoke here. It's going to be Oscar that's touched a bomb and hoping to nail a shot. That is where he can go for the full defuse here, but Murr will take care of that. Hits another wonderful shot going for the 3K. He nails it. Murr steps up and finds Vegas Bodge in their first round on the board. One versus two, bomb easily planted at B. They're going to realize it oh. any second. Doesn't plan for sure. I think that would be the way to win the round. He's going to be a smoke out really early as well. Well, he goes aggressive in kitchens. This isn't too bad. There we go. And his own point. That's, well, that's what I was going to say. If you get caught on that window jumping back, that would just be a tragic way to end it. What a shot. Flick up to Stiko. They looked excellent up until now. They looked well over five seconds. as a unit, but unfortunately, they've fallen apart. The bomb just got there in time. You're right. They left it long. Bomb carrier went down. That was a misplay. Pushing and overextending, but they'll make do. 16 to 3. That is an absolute blunder. Yeah. Edward's playing just enough of an angle that Nitro won't be able to take him down before they get there. Can't quite get the line. The T-Ball, oh, I take it back. Bomb did go down, but Nitro got the shot nonetheless on Electronic. Unfortunately, the bomb going down is significant because yeah. Simple and Edward can both fall off to angles that are unfavorable for Nitro. Yeah, he really had to deny that bomb. He let himself down slightly, but he might be able to redeem himself here. Lovely shot towards Long. Simple low HP. He baits it out and he takes him down. Nitro continues that strong form he showed throughout the tournament and it looked like such a dicey round there for Liquid. A five on three advantage thrown away. P7, he's behind them. He is indeed. And somehow comes out on top of that. Not too much range on the MP7. JDM was thinking about going towards B. That doesn't have time. Good Molotov. That'll force him out of position. He can just get towards the, banch, the bank, though. So, JDM, AK-47 in hand this time. Electronic has got a kit and a smoke. He throws it towards the bank and defuses. It's over. Wants to play. Just throws it on top of the bomb. He'll probably touch oh, the defuse. Not quite there. So this will be obvious, but MP7, and he clutches it. That's incredible. With Flames at the feet of Zeus, is able to take him down quite quickly. Flames thrown by Nitro, who now finds Edward, and they've got the advantage. Effective, but it is Electronic yet again, this time with an M4. Bomb is planted, he can see it, but it doesn't really bode well in the fact that he also has to find the two remaining players. Twist up 2 HP, mind you. Spots him. Need now. to play for trades. <gasps> Twist is going to line up, and JDM... Oh. Oh my god, they actually give him the round there. They could have waited. Nitro tried to back him up as best he could. I need to see Nitro's POV because that spray wasn't clean from Electronic either. There's a unit, but Flamey is there. It's difficult to get that flash and Electronic baited in at this point. This is going to be so perfect. Check it out. First one, but now he's got the lineup. Oh, I thought he might get the ace to finish it off. Won't quite. It's out of sight, follows up with one. For the last, the last is found instead by Simple 16 to 9. Coming in from Checkers, actually doing a very good job here. Valina finds two, and Kenny is left in the three versus one. This round should be done. 20 seconds remaining. Bomb down towards Checkers. He is good up close and personal with the AWP, but how strong can he be? The quick scope doesn't land, but that one does. How does that first one not hit? Just catches the edge of the doorway. 10 seconds. He spots another. He's given himself a chance. He will absolutely go on this. But don't rule QB out bomb. of this. He's planted in the open. This, this is unbelievable. immediately fast on that. And all he had to do was peak tree. He knew he was going to be going toward A. He must have got the call that he didn't have time. Yeah, definitely. Because Boomich backed off. Now, I guess that gives you the lesser of two evils, the one you know versus the one you don't. This guarantees a one versus one clutch rather than being caught out before the plant even happens. He thinks he's at spawn. Op versus M4. And Kenny might outplay them on this. It's a fast shot. Now, Boomich knows exactly where he is, but Kenny is very quick. Boomich going back for an off angle. Kenny's able to spot it. Three HP as he gets away on the AWP's bot space. But Boomich is going directly to war! 
What a shot to get down MBK. It wasn't quite the headshot, but by getting aggressive, not only did he preserve his teammate to get the plant, he got the kill, and now Body has to clutch this back. <laughs> Again, what can he do here? He has got a decent position. It almost certainly takes down quick. Low HP, one versus one now. Waterfalls of the M4A4. Looking for the ace, Matthew. Can he pull this one off? I think Bodies goes for the full defeat. Apparently not wins the round. That was unfortunate for Waterfalls. After such a performance there to get so many kills, he's been so good for QBF. Here comes the significant fight. I think Bodies aware that Boomich hasn't shown himself directly on a good read. Three versus Might one. Might be G2. The Boston. Missed shot Waterfall certainly makes that likely. Because I know exactly where he is. And down he goes. It's going to be G2, our first team. A challenger team now 6-0 and into the Boston playoffs. Yeah, that's more like it from G2. Now they're looking deadly. They're looking like they want to take this major. This is a contact playoff. Can't walk, and Dupree's found another opening. That's on a golden, and this is a guy we saw last night. You do not want him to heat up. Crims take him down, surprised by a second player in connector. But that smoke is going to cover their path. It's all on luck. Road JW is rotating over, but he's only got a scout. Yeah, this won't be easy to hold back. They still have a smoke on Sip, so they could actually just smoke off uh, that scout as well. Kirby goes down, Lecro long range, might be a good lineup. He actually does a lot of damage, and the headshot onto the device, and they just clean it up. Crim's coming with a great spray there. See how it goes. Crim's golden on the bomb side. They might be in a little bit of trouble. Crim's with a great spray, finds the headshot on the third. Deagle comes in, and Crim's takes down four. And Astralis is all rotated over. Device is going to be the next one up fighting with Crims, but Crims obviously wins that, and he wins another one onto Zipnix. Two big players down, Dupree and Kerby. They don't have the health for this, and pretty soon Crims is going to start flanking, but it might not even be needed. That's a great shot, but it's just not enough. Crims is here to end it with another headshot. The bomb is down, and Crims and Flusher, they can play the waiting game forever with him. He has a smoke, maybe the only tool that can bring him out of this, but he still has to actually get onto the site here. Fnatic have played an amazing game and they take down Astralis 16-8 here on Mirage. That is a, an impressive victory for them. And who better to end it than Crims? They have a bit of a chance maybe to get some bullets in. They have to be very swift headshots. All of Meister still sneaking up behind. SK not aware there's Kerrigan with one good shot. They need a couple more, and maybe this could be the turnaround moment. Olaf right behind them as well. Kerrigan again there, Solov with the kill. Now just two on three, sneaking close with 30 seconds. Taco goes down with the bomb, leaving Cold Sierra, just the best player in the world in 28 seconds, and an AK-47. Can this be done? It seems impossible. There's just no time at all. 20 seconds sneaking in. The spray is through it. He's caught out. Guardian will take him down. Teams said the caliber of phase to sort of just need one round, and that ignites a lot more. So we'll see if that is exactly what's going to happen here. Good kill there for Guardian. Falls back immediately. Not going to get caught either. And that makes a lot of sense. They've even boosted all of my drop into the corner. There's Guardian again, taking down Fur, and more to come. Triple for him. All right, keep the lemmings coming. Right into their doom. Well, Cold and Taco, maybe a more iconic duo as they come out of vents. Kerrigan's going to take one out. Cold does trade it away. He's got 13 HP, so FaZe finally going to be able to string two together off the back of four kills from Guardian. Three on three. Did Nico do enough? That's the big question. They cannot lose this game or this round at FaZe. That's going to be a big problem for them. Rain, he's going to get dropped, but Olaf is still hiding back here. I'm not sure they realize that he's actually there. Kerrigan, he's got the lineup. He sees the gun barrel, and that's an easy kill on Fallen. Now down to 10 seconds, and Taco... Still a bit paranoid, but he's got to go for the bomb. Oh my god, what a peak! Taking the headshot, and all of us down. I can't believe it. Now it's Kerrigan. The bomb down has to walk into this crossfire. He misses the shot, and he's not going to get a chance for a second one. Taco is out of control. He gets grenade. That is just an absolute nuclear bomb on the phase team. That's a good way to get open now. Can they follow it through? Taco caught sw swapping between the guns. I have no idea why that was happening. He was just flicking back and forth, and he has no chance to even reply. They're going to go for Cold Sierra. He's actually, I think, inside the smoke from the grenade, so they couldn't even see him. And as a result, Olaf Meister does go down. But Guardian's got the line up. Got to be careful here, otherwise it could be a two for one. That AWP goes right through the wall. And Fur is going to go down anyway. Oh my god! What is happening? He's going to try and get aggressive again. UMP this time, and this time it's fast towards the A-bomb site. They might catch him in a boost. And there it is. Phelps right around the edge of the smoke. It's one, so does Fallen. Rain finally responding, but I think there might be too much damage and Fallen's still alive with the AWP. Knows exactly where Rain is. And it's like a shotgun. Hoping for any kind of opening. Somebody rush in behind, get greedy, do anything that means we can get back in, but I think they know as well it's not happening. A flashbang coming through and Fur 
Just cancelling all of that. I think he got flashed as well, actually, from the other side. So time is running out. What a game it's been. 16-12 as FaZe made their way to the playoffs yet again in a major tournament. That's an incredible performance. An incredible... To remember situations where you won not because of individual performances and i think these guys have played for so long and i don't know look at the look at the tournaments where teams will take a break before and they'll come in and, mm. and just destroy people there's no way these guys are sitting here saying that hey snacks couldn't do that info play being too slow cloud nine rotation was a bit late not really sure if Virtus pro is telling the truth or not and here comes the push now all from the market position Four versus three in favor of the T-side after automatic goes down. How do they get out of the door? That's the question. Well, Stewie will make it work. He's got a French gun, and he gets a kill on Bayali. Jumping out of the window now, and his off angle's being held. Virtus Pro still has the high ground advantage. And the bomb's planted for the high ground, as you can see. Snacks holding the angle. So uh, it's a really strong position. Taz with the spray transfer. He was stuck on a Galil, no AWP. Pretty much, uh, well, very good utility. And here's Automatic with a push up mid, looking to just ruin their day. And Stewie, he's the one to get the frags. Three, that is outrageous. The fourth with the P250 and Skadoodle right at the end. So they've got to be good. Bayali's starting to get curious, but Skadoodle's holding a deep angle. Taz doesn't want, doesn't want to get too, too close to this connector position. Through the smoke, Stewie, of course. Bayali going down as well. Big problems for Virtus Pro. Oh man, they'd lose the very important Jules VP and this could go very wrong from this point. We have Snacks and Neo rushing from CT. Stewie's there with the Deagle, doesn't get it though. That would have been huge, but now there's a chance for the Poles. As they push forward with the Flash, Neo leading the charge. Famas is down. Snacks having to tap away with MP9, that's not ideal. And he's going to lose the battle against Rush. Oh no, that is the worst case scenario for VP. The full... Smoke from Neo actually. The only burning forced off flashed as well. Not much hope there for him. A very impressive and forceful attack onto the A site. As Taz just sits in connector with not much to do for the time being. Smoke still down here. Damage done through the smoke onto Pasha. A bullet finds its way to his head as well from Skadoodle. And now Snacks is going to try to create an opening into this defense. Only two players left here. Skadoodle is one of them though with that orb. He's been menacing. All he needs here is one frag, and then it really becomes very difficult for Taz. He crosses straight into the crosshairs, no trade. Oh, this is so hard for Snacks. Can he do it? Goes around the corner, meets his demise at the hands of Skadoodle, and that's 15 now for Cloud9. Three players left for Virtus Pro. There's Taz blind. Never saw it coming. Two versus four, Snacks and Pasha doing all they can. No weapon for them to collect. Plays through the smoke, automatic, hearing them. Executing snacks, and there's the last player, Pasha, in the red. There he goes, and there they go. Virtus Pro have been eliminated from the major, and Cloud9 are fighting for survival. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Gambit to demonstrate why uh, they deserve the respect they've earned by winning that major. Zeus conversation has to go away now. It's time for them to tell their own story. Running through the smoke, but slightly too early. Adrenaline looked expectant. The bomb will be planted. Some bonus money for Space Soldiers, but they need to win round. Two versus two. They've done a lot of damage very quickly. There are jewels going in. And Dozy's in one versus one. And Paz makes it work. Finally, Space Soldiers get onto the scoreboard. Oh, but it's not a good angle for him, is it? Dozier now discovered less than 30 seconds to collect the bomb and get a plant in. Now, that is very key information for Engine who wants to play the time. That's a more safe way to do this. You don't want to take the engagement. You don't want to risk it against the AK. Gets the spot, takes the engagement and loses it. Space soldiers. 23 seconds. There's time pressure to plant the bomb, but they know how dangerous Major is. Where is he? He's been jumping around. I don't know, though, if they've heard him. The grenades suggest no. But the Molotov now trying to buy time. 12 seconds. The bomb still hasn't been connected by these TZs. Moving forward. Tags the leg. The pistol's there. But the trade is immediate. Gambit, stop it from happening. No more comeback for Space Soldiers. Two to one. Gambit, go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get best you deserve.